Hello folks, and welcome back to twitch.tv slash games with Nick. Let me lower the volume a little bit more. Alright, we are continuing our Nintendo 64 challenge by playing through some more of Banjo-Kazooie. So our goal is to ultimately, in like 200 years, um, complete all of the um, gate Nintendo 64 games released in the US to some level, but sometimes it'll be deeper, sometimes it'll be a little more shallow. Uh, right now, we're just trying to complete Magic kazooie by getting all of the puzzle pieces, all of the jiggies, as well as every music note. Probably. I'm definitely gonna get all the jiggies. I'm not gonna hold myself to every single music notes. Mostly because, does you know this game know that Rusty Bucket Bay is really annoying. So, uh, we finished the first four levels. Next up, we have Free ZZ Peak. Oh, actually. Excuse me. I need to jump back in you. Uh, there we go. I saw a Mumba token behind them, and we're gonna need every single one of those, because we have another level with Mumbo. And then another one happening right afterwards, too, so... Gotta get damn tokens! So we'll play for a couple hours. I would like to finish uh, the next three levels. Breeze Easy Peaks, uh, Gobi's Valley, and Mad Monster Mansion. But we'll see what we can achieve. The pig's got another new move waiting for you, if you can find it. Wah, well, where's her presents? Her dad Boggy said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages. Wah. There's Boggy. Oh, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help her, Boggy. All right, let's start with the annoying, um, well, actually, let's first get the notes around Blake. So, in the bog, the water was full of piranhas. Here, the water was just too cold for us to step in it. And if we try it, we lose life. Is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, stay out of it then. So, that's a bummer. Where are the Twinklies? Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across your tree. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. I... Oh, jerks. Oh, come on. Fuck it, okay, I can just use the... breath tap wrap. That's much- Oh, fuck's sake! Alright, tell you what. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Oh, 
哦。All right, I think I did it barely. Woo. All right, phew, that was close, but we made it. Now switch us on. Yippee! Be a star, and you'll find your reward. Hurry! Gee, I wonder what that means. Okay, probably have to go through it three times. Precise movements and flights are always a little tricky. All right. Let's go get our prize. Oh. Bad call. Termites here. Oh, we got a package. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Like one of three young bears. Feathers or eggs. I think part of the reason why I love Banjo Kazooie is that it has such a realized version of what they wanted to do. The world is coherent, it's consistent, it makes sense, it's fun, it's funny. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. While you're flying, press speed to launch Kazooie at, target, at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Oh. oh, that was a fortuitous coincidence. the goals here is to knock all of these out this way. Also, the other cool thing about Banjo-Kazooie compared to the sequel is that it is so much more self-contained. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Like, the levels are full of surprises and things to explore, but they also feel of a reasonable size. Which is not true for most of the sequel. Notice that we can't use the same trick we used last time for the, um, for the notes. Like, we can't turn all cells invincible with the golden feathers. Um grab stuff that lies in the water 
Because we merely go to swim as we land in the water. Nope. Go around. Alright. Couple more. Okay. Got them all! The other thing is that you want to make sure to stick to the Talon Trot every time you're moving around here, otherwise you'll be sliding a lot. It'll actually be a pretty tricky puzzle piece to grab. We'll get to it once we leave this level. two presents, but there are three kids, so still need a little bit more. Alright. Oh. Oh, we can climb on top of the thing from here? Yeah, let's do it. So jolly. Just the best Christmas vibes from this level. Onto the broom to get the Jinjo. No, I don't want to get to the luge yet. Okay, we got a third present. Top of the hat. Ba na ba na ba na ha. have had to climb back all the way. I don't know if you noticed, but inside the pipe, there's a jiggy. Alright, having done that, we can jump onto the luge. Whoa! 
Bam. Oof. That's better. Hey, you find my sled. I'll go ahead and practice for the big race now. See you, buddy. Where's the jiggy? Since we're up here, might as well go talk to the kids, give them the presents. Thank you, brown bear. Yippee, now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. All right, halfway there. I haven't really climbed on the side. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like a little note here or there. Yikes! A nasty fierce bear! Oh come on, I'm not I'm not that creepy. Come on. Safer for Waza to come out now. Oh yeah, I forgot that your lives reset every time you save and quit. I guess they cap out at 9, so it makes sense, but still. So this is as far as we can go. Write some notes. Hello again, buddy. I'm waiting for someone to raise me. Well, racing, I'm smut. Sorry, you're too big for my sled. I can only raise someone smaller. Jinjo. There it is. I am... I know there's a way for me to get to Mumbo without hurting myself, but I don't remember how. be boots on top of one of these houses. Or behind the house. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to fly, aren't I? Yeah. Take that extra life. Mamba tokens start becoming very needy. Like they give you there's in level one, four, five. Seven and nine. Bunch of gone all fat. Got big teeth. <laughs> but like with the croc and the swamp water, the walrus is totally chill inside the cold water. So 
So we can use him to get some miscellaneous notes. Mm. Actually, I think these are all the notes, aren't they? Yeah. All right. So we kind of have to take the long way around, but we gotta to go talk to Wadza again. What's up, Wazza, my bud? Wow, another walrus! Take this! But watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. Oh, if only you knew, you stupid walrus. Wait, I have six right now? I am missing a jiggy. Hi, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around. Right, another little chiva. So for those that don't know, um, there's this um, website that tracks achievements for classic games called Retro Achievements. Um, and yeah, it's pretty great. All the achievements are fan submitted. And I assume it's about testing certain RAM variables and checking their values, but... Right. I'm still not sure where one... Hmm. Hmm. Is there a Jiggy around here? Because we get two for beating um, Boggy at his race. We're still missing a Jinja, too. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy race. Hop on the sled if you want. Great. Now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go. Like most Nintendo 64 races, rubber banding in here is pretty fucking crazy. Tight race! Very tight race! The thing is, there, there's no way for you to actually accelerate, you know? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh! Oh my god. Whew. That was tight! You're too quick for me, Mr. Warros. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. Oh, I also remember now where the, um, the Jiggy I'm, I'm forgetting is. Alright. In a very rare circumstance, we have to go back to Mumbo. 
and get turned back into Banjo. I'd like to transform back, please. Thank you. Look it up! Alright, let's go... These... I'm on top of the house and get flying again. Oh shit, fuck. Oh fuck me. I hit the wrong button. Should be a honeycomb storage nearby. Yeah, here we go. Blam. To be fair, that, that's a bit obtuse, like if you don't know you're supposed to hit those buttons. I guess they do look a little bit like targets, but... Alright. Now it's time for the Boggy Rematch. Oh, yeah, whatever. Happens. And this is one jiggy that you have to have visited the next area to be able to complete. Hey, buddy! Fence your ace against Boggy? Press A to accept or beat the chicken out. Okay, buddy, here's the rules. Run through the red slalom gates and try to beat me to the end. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Unless you have the shoes, you have no hope of beating Boggy. Who still rubber bands you in a way that is ridiculous. Like, why you gotta be dicks about it, really? Oh, fuck me. Right at the end, too! No! Fuck me! Hard luck, buddy, but old Buggy wins this time. Come on, buddy, try again. Three, two, one, go! Stupid gate toward the end. Like, he is rubber bending. 
in a way that is frankly disgusting. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Fuck me. Oh, okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, I'll try again. Camera is also sometimes not helpful. Like, there's simply no way for you to gain ground over Boggy. Okay. At least they're kind enough to have him then rubber band back. I wonder if that's just what I was supposed to do. Purposely fall behind a little bit. Oh, I've lost again. Take my other medal. I'm off my lo to look for my kid's presence. And we're still missing one Jinjo, but I know exactly where he is. Which should oh, it's actually right here. Perfect. Ick, the bear again! Took the noisy orange thing with you and leave! Poor Wad's all alone. And you can see the ice key behind. That doesn't actually serve any purpose here in Benji kazooie It's part of a system called Stop and Swap. Where Rare thought that they could save stuff in RAM long enough for you to, like, Put in this cart, get the item, and then uh, quickly swap it for the sequel to get the key in that game. They eventually, you know, managed to do it in Rare Replay using straight up, you know, saves, but... Uh, where's the exit? Limo. All right. This is gonna be fucking tricky. Because the camera doesn't help. Ooh! <laughs> oh god. Can't believe I made the first try. Hey, Benja, you're looking glum. It must be hard being so dumb. Alright. That's the end of Freezy's Peaks. <laughs> Gobi's Valley has already been unlocked. But let me already open this door. I'm trying to unlock the next next world, which is Med Monster Mansion. Oh. 
I wonder if I could actually probably unlock both Mad Monster Mansion and Rusty Bucket Bay. I do have all the moves at this point. And I do have a solid amount of um, jiggies and I hope I haven't overextended myself with my air supply. Oof. Oh no, okay, I can't unlock the next thing until I complete Mad Monster Mansion. Oh, was there something there? Looks like there might have been something there. Yes, please. Yeah, so in this room we can't do anything else at the moment because the water is just too low. Nothing we can actually reach. Let us go back, wrap up Gobi's Valley. Many tricks are up my sleeve. To save yourself, you'd better leave. Let's finish Gobi's Valley. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes please. Thank you. Boots. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. All right. We made it. All right. And before we start Gobi's Valley, let me take a look by a break. Be right back.
All right, we are back. Oh, oof, almost left the level. That would have been a mistake. Anything in this pool? No. As you can guess, this is very much the Egypt-themed level. I personally think it's a good time. Um. Alright, I'm sorry, but I really need... That's right. You can actually kill them if you hold on the uh, invincibility shield long enough. And also, there's no mumbo in this level. So I think the way we get those notes. Nope. That is not the way. That is the way. My nose is all blocked up. How about some eggs in it? Oh shit, I fell. Ah. The ones along this side for now. up the Sphinx. Uh, not what I meant to do. But ah, oh, that clear Jinxie's nose. Come on in. For that. Fucking four music notes. That's why we're very meticulous when we enter a new area. You know how easy it is to miss these? Ah. 
Not fast enough. But time to take a drink. again and look at what's up. Oh. Let's put the other side. Oh, okay. There's a live here. That's good. some boots here too. They're here, immediately. Fuck's sake. Alright, go back. Rabba's got a jiggy. Nair, nair, nair. Nair. Well, I'll grab your jiggy. Don't worry. That a jiggy. Bear's too slow. Nair, 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 nair. Oh yeah, let's see if I'm still too slow. I've had it a thousand years. Well done, mortal. Bottom two. But those are for later, if I remember correctly. There's a lot of tiny little pyramids around here.
Fuck six. Come on. In a way, I do appreciate that in the sequel, they went for packs of five notes each instead of... No. Oh, fuck's sake. Um, okay. That's alright. Way out. Guess I didn't want to start flying anyway, so... Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. We can't buck Buster, uh, beat Buster, because we're a little low on health, but... Okay, that's left of Sphinxy. Sphinxy now. Uh, 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 only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. I mean, I'll take it. Flying carpet comes by. Oh, fuck me! Alright. Take me. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was uh, spicy. That was very spicy. But all is well that ends well. And then it's well. Okay, we've unlocked a new pyramid. Before we go through it, let me go back. I am making some very spicy jumps, I have to be honest.
Oh, gee, that really looks like a target, huh? All right. There's a lot of one-off note spots. Level. Like just eight random notes in here. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. I can be of some help, no? Looking for treasure, pot boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? Ah, a thousand thanks. My friend Histop will now help you with your quest. Alright. I am still very unhappy at only having two health pips. That's not good. Okay, let's make let's make those three, hopefully. Alright. A little better. A little better. This is tight. We gotta rush. No time to grab the notes. We'll be back. Oh, come on! You should wait until the zero comes to actually start closing it, jerk. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. The mummies are normally invincible, but the only thing that... Basically, your invulnerability shield, the golden feathers, can break through anything that can be filled. Now that there's water in here, we can go and grab stuff from the bottom of the Done? I think we might be done. Let's see, what else? 
probably do. Um, we still have, I believe, a note to grab up here. That corner, have we? Oh, there's Gobi. That's what I was missing. Then there's this pyramid too that we have to cross. Wonder if that yeah, stops there. Whoa. Bam. Up, Gobi. Here's your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. Right. Take care of this tiny pyramid. This like four note bullshit. Alright. So this is a pretty simple memory game. Mumbo egg. Mumbo egg. Boom dum show. Note feather. Kisui. Feather. Mumbo. Kazooie, Kazooie. Egg. And booyah! Okay, before we deal with the big pyramid, um, we sadly have to traumatize poor Gobi. Who had been shackled for so long. And we're about to be so mean to him. Chillin' Gobi, having a good time. He looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. No, we share Gobi, okay? Oh, lovely water. Trunker feels great. I don't know, you kind of stretch. Trunker. I don't know if that's healthy, to be honest. But if you say so. And you're like, are we done abusing poor Gobi? No, we are not. No, we are not. Before we do that, though, let's go back to the cactus with the honeycomb pea. Where are you? 
there. All right, this is gonna take some like precise flying. Woo! Nicely done, man. Nicely done. That's a fun idle animation. Oh, hey, it's my friend Gobi. Bah, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. left at this point is the big pyramid. Oh, damn it. Well, we're here. Okay, and at least I see the exit. Nope. This way. Alright. No, the bear survived! After the king's ancient relic. Okay. Oh, and yeah, this will do it, won't it? I don't think I've got the all extra lives achievement here, but uh, whatever. That's non essential. We're not gonna get all achievements anyway, because one of them says to finish the game without ever getting a, um, a life of grade, so whatever. 100% to the valley, we can head out. Back to the mansion! That's a David the Tentacle quote for you, uh, point and click adventure fanatics. It's on the docket. Someday. There is literally nothing I can do at the moment. I have to go to my monster mansion press. Alright, um which uh no that's that's the valley this way. This way. Right. 
in the witch's mouth. Quicker time here, cause we're above a lava pit, so no risking it. We'll we'll get to that in due time. And uh, I want to double check. I think we might need to break a gate before we can. We need to enter this thing to essentially unlock the next level, but yeah, just just small enough. So let us enter the mansion. Alright, so this is where we're starting, I'm starting to be a little less familiar um, in the grand scheme of things with the layout of the levels. I remember where everything is, generally speaking, and what to do, but I couldn't immediately tell you, oh, do this, do that, do that. Windows can be broken, though. These things are rather dumb. Let's make sure they're unwelcome! Anything else in here? Bunch of eggs. Pressing. Alright. Down to the wine cave. Again, golden feathers will kill anything that can be killed. Even if they're not vulnerable to it, to other me any other mean, gold feathers will do it. Right, we're one token short at the moment for the next transformation. We should be pretty good to go. And I think we need 25 for the last one, which is levels from now. Oh. Alan Trot. There's something under the floorboards. But once again, I am just too large. Open that. Oh, and then there's Logo too, yeah. 
this thing also invincible. Burgle. Bear is much too fat to fit in Lago's mouth. Alright. And that's the core of the top. Let's go up one more level. Kill the ghost. This one might not be able to break at all. So, um, of these. One note in the corner. Good. One more Jinjo. And we jump down. Alright, that thing's sleeping, so we better not wake it up. Oh, come on! Well. Let's get all the coins in the meantime. Alright, and that's the way you have to approach this guy, because of course you can't jump from the front of the room and thing, but we just missed Mr. Jump. That's okay. Gotta yeah, climb back up and try again. Much better. Grunty's gold, how it's shown. He'll be mad, now it's gone. He has a man, my boot I'll put up your useless spucky butt. Put and butt don't rhyme. Now the reason for this... I guess just fly up in the rafters? That was it? Mm, okay. I guess it's the church rafters that have stuff in it. Okay, so that takes care of dimension per se. Well, actually, this might lead somewhere else. Damn.
Yep. So which way do we go next? Let's go through this labyrinth first. Come here. Come here. You're not the only one who gets to attack. Jackass. Okay, we got the Jinjo. Got the token. I'm gonna try to get some of that. Remember that since we're playing the original version, the Nintendo 64 version, if we die, our best note score gets saved and all the notes reset. Which is a pain in the butt, and that's why we need to try to not die, ever, if we can avoid it. Uh, okay, it looks like we are locked out from anything else. Um. Yeah. Okay. Back out, go towards the church first. This is a very good game. Sometimes you are fighting the camera. Found all the gingers. That's early. Alright. Got all these notes. How do I open you up? Fuck you. Token. Alright, let's go from the other side still. Oh, maybe actually this has something for it. Oh shit, that's locked. Why is that locked? Big up door is very tough. If it there is not fast enough. I wonder what I'm supposed to spell. <laughs> Greetings, O oh Solid One. I'm Tumblr the Mighty. Solve the puzzle. And you can take this infernal thing. That's the end. Opposite corner. Blue, there's a no back here. 
Oh. And then to wrap it up, oh. I. At last, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. Uh huh. Right or. Fuck you. Yeah, you. Fuck you too. And you. Starting to run a little low on Feather, so I'm not gonna tell you to fuck yourself, but I'm I'm I'ma be thinking it. This is a lot easier to navigate later on, so I'll, I'll let's let's remember it, but not not really come through it at the moment. So we've got. Yeah. We've got the well. We've got Lago. We've got the house raptors. What, could just do that? Shit, can I do the same for the church? Beak Buster. Underrated move. Yep, okay. Uh, alright. We're here, let's... Explore this before we get to reopen it. Right. This is a very well kept secret that if you don't know, you would never think of doing. Right, the that. Flower, we put the pot in. Bad gravestone, bad! We're safe. 
So maybe I'll switch back to standard banjo here. Back up, get that stuff. We're still low on notes, surprisingly. We don't want to do mumbo yet, but I want to see what's around mumbo. Couple notes. Open up the church and go in. Need to come up here. This works. I think. This works too. Nope. I need to big buster. the church which is way too large for any of the characters I hope everybody's ready for the worst memory game ever. Mostly because there is no challenge to it whatsoever. Follow him on the keys. I don't know. Can I, you slow ass hand? Not bad, Bear. 
But now watch me copy this tune, and amazed I'll be. What kind of deranged pianist only uses the black keys? Wow, this is so engaging and so challenging. How did I do this? Wow! Your music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine! Oh, so it was worth it. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty low on my golden feather, so you'll, you'll live another day. Right. Now let's jump on that flying pad. Go up to the rafter. Time. No rush. No rush. That shit too, huh? Okay. Get this other yellow one. We should be... Alright. With that, we're done in the church, and it's time to visit Mumbo. Let me double check a couple things. We haven't gotten the ginger one yet, have we? No, we have. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we good, we good, we good. <laughs> and I have to be honest, the Mumbo Jumbo transformation here is pretty spectacular. Oh man, it's followed by the achievement! We are a pumpkin. And let me just say, I adore how when I jump, my head goes off. <laughs> Look at the top of my head. Alright. And you're like, okay, well, what, what are, what are you gonna do now that you're a pumpkin? Three things. Thing number one. Go back to the well with the uh, gross water and jump into it.
it's a lot easier to dodge these things while you're just walking around. Right, that it? Yes. Alright. Back out. Now, to complete the level getting all the jiggy, we need to do something that is very cool but a little crazy. So, I didn't actually try to jump on them because I knew that these were, like, a thorny. And we actually take damage from them. The pumpkin doesn't. So what we need to do now... ...to make our way atop these walls until we reach the house. And enter a couple of spots inside the house with it. And so we need to go around. And this is such a cool idea, you know? It's like... I can't do much as the pumpkin. The only thing I can do is move and jump at a reasonable height. But because I can do this... I am able to move along some places that I was not able to do before. All right, and we have two things to do up here first. Under the floorboards. Oh, I also thought this. Yes, I need these. And there's the toilet on the other side of the house. And we're small. Happy landings, little one. You can actually get flush by the toilet. Thing though, uh, we don't have invincibility anymore, so I'm not gonna actually aggro those weird thingies. Can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hands, filthy bear. And then last but not least... And again, I don't know how you would think of this unless you knew it, but you see that? It actually fit in there. Which gave us the puzzle piece. And then that's what we're missing. Now that we're small, we can exit the level. And we have a shit ton to do outside the level as the pumpkin. If so far, we're 7 for 7 in terms of completing everything to the max level. There's, this is a secret mumbo. This is just here to transform you back into a bear, and then upon request, back into a pumpkin. Because we need it. Can I open these? No. I missed the beginning of Grunty's talk, so I'm not gonna recreate again. And this raises the waters. In this area. Which turns out to be exactly what we need to be able to access the next painting and unlock the rusty bucket bay. Oh, 
But you know, it's, it's, it's early enough. It's only been... Well, actually, it has been a couple hours, but... 6.45. Maybe we'll give Rusty Bucket Bay a shot. If it gets too late, we might just uh, save state halfway through. Now, I fully expect to die a handful of times in the Rusty Bucket Bay. So what we're going to try and go do the hard challenges first. I remember this path. Go down it. Hello, Brentilda. I don't think Brentilda's bedroom has smelly socks hanging from the ceiling. She also has a Veruca plan growing in a pod beside her bed. Filthy old bag. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. Why are you jealous, girl? Why are you jealous? Really. Cheeto Bear and Bird have fun once more. Another spell to get. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn! Nasty Witch is so good I shall tell. Enter Red Feathers on St. Castle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove. How red they are, you stupid short. A target for my dumb cohorts! Alright, let's cross the ship again. Fuck. Okay. That was not planned. Swear to God. What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough! Oh, it's actually convenient, to be honest. How do I still have nine lives? Maybe lives boss only count in levels? Okay. So let's go back to the rusty oh first. We need to get the puzzle piece in the eye of the statue. Which requires us once again to fly. Actually, no, we don't actually need to fly. We can do this without challenging ourselves that way. So if we manage to finish Rusty Bucket Bay, um... This puts us into a good position for... Oh no, we might need to actually fly because I can't... Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can get away with climbing on our face without flying. Yeah, never mind. If we actually finish Rusty Bucket Bay, then we just have one stream of about a couple hours to 100% the game. Which might likely happen on Thursday. As I said in free streams, I have the day off on Thursday. Nope. Now I plan to celebrate it by finishing Assassin's Creed. And why not? Finishing Banjo could also be a fun thing to do. Alright. You got it.
Okay, now we are underwater as we start. It's still not enough to access something in this room. We need the water to be up one more level. But... Doesn't mean we can climb up here. Let's just do what? If the level is still locked, but climb on these boxes. Fuck. can access that exit, this cauldron, which connects to the one at the top of the witch hat, yeah. But before we go there, let's go back to the previous room, because the water rising here also have affected the previous room. These roots we can also break with the yellow feathers, but maybe we should. So this is the last area. Here's some Gruntilda's favorite pastime is fisting boils. This poor guy called Dirty Birdie was her first and only boyfriend. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a baby dragon as a pet. That's actually pretty dope. I would like a baby dragon. Why are you so mean-spirited, Gruntilda? Come on. We're gonna need this in a second. Can't open that one just yet. But that activated something way at the beginning of the game, if you remember I pointed it out. What's over here? Oh, we're further up in, uh... Level 3 water, we actually need to go back to the Rusty Bucket area.
see an exit at the very top. Oh, where are you? Oh, there. Fuck. Okay. It's right behind us when we come up, isn't it? Yeah. Right behind us as we come up. Ish. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, and here is the last Cheeto. Bear and Burr are getting good at finding Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. That traitor buck has pushed its luck! So in the burning fire I'll chuck! Find Cheeto which one? Code you must enter on Saint Castle floor and treasure trove is gold feathers. It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a bear and bird. Alright, that unlocks Rusty Bucket Bay. This I'm not entirely sure where it leads, but let's follow it. The answer is fucking nowhere. Or at least to the... Um, I think it leads to the room where we unlocked that monster mansion. Alright. Fetch my honey this time and you'll be sorry, I guess. So, uh, let's not do that just yet. Yeah, I think we'll attempt to clear Rusty Bucket Bay. Um, before the end of this... Keyword in this case is attempt. This is the one time in the game where I might not sneer at using safe states. Alright, and Click Clock Wood is open as well. These are the two final levels. After that, there's all the end game stuff. Which we'll take care of. So we'll plan us finish Rusty Bucket today. Um, and then play through Click Clock Woods. 
which is a beautiful, beautiful level. Um, and do the end game stuff next time. At which point we will have completed two out of ninety-six, two, two out of two hundred and ninety-six Nintendo sixty-four games. Right, back up. However, before we enter the nightmare to this rusty bucket bay, I'm gonna go take another super quick bio break. Alright. See you in a few minutes. All right. All right. Is this how I get to the engine room? I'm not even going to try to do anything until we've cleared that engine room and gotten all of the... All the stuff from it. So, you know, this is a bay that contains this old rusting... Um... Old rusting ship. The water is actually polluted. So you will take damage. Uh, or rather, you won't be able to... You will lose oxygen while you... Are uh, just even swimming in it up above water is very annoying. No. Nope. We'll do all of this stuff eventually. I just need to find the engine room first. No, it's not that. I remember what's there. It's gonna be this one. Alright. Thank you. 
Uh, no, this is how I slow it down. How do I actually access it? If I have this already? No. Backside. Yes, I think. just left the anchor. How do I get to the engine room? That, by the way, ripped that poor dolphin apart completely. close. Your air also runs out faster than it does in normal settings. See, there should be another window we can break. I know that it's not. Oh, oh, yes, this is how it is. I'm gonna climb to the top of one of those big chimneys. That's how we access it or break it. There we go. Found it. That was very lucky. All right, join me. You fall down, instant death. Fuck that mumbo token. I am not grabbing that.
Alright, alright. Chill, 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 chill. Alright, alright, alright. I swear to god, my heart is racing. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 wait for a round for a round to go around. Alright. Are you moving? Yes. I don't know if we'll manage to get to that uh, Jiggy in time. Okay, we're definitely not gonna get to that Jiggy in time. That's okay. We're just gonna ignore it until the very end. Until we've had a hundred musical notes. Those five seconds we lost there were just that 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 made too much of a difference. But the good news is we survived. I was extremely worried. Oh, oh my God! I'm so I'm, I'm still shaking. <laughs> I'm still shaking that I somehow managed to not die right there. So let's play it extremely safe from now on. of these jerks, but we're good, we're good. We're now going to make our way counterclockwise around the dock. And when we're done with the dock, we're going to go back and explore the boat. There's a ginger somewhere. But I have no idea. All these jerks dead. That might make it fair. Oh, hello. I think that's about it. So we need 25 for the final transformation. Once we reach the magical number 25, we're good. Three. 
Alright, we'll get some notes here. These eels look a little smaller. Right? Once you get the timing for the eels, they stop being any kind of danger. <laughs> oh, did I see your no. What about this container? Oh, fuck's sake, I don't see you. Oh, well, we got a lot for it. So the tool here is on the other side, so we'll have to... Wait the toxic waters for a little bit here. Another one. Y'all get me. Jerks. Oh, uh, this is time, doesn't it? Yep. so we can move around a little easier. Why is there a freaking shark? Life is running a little low. Not a big fan.
All right, tell you what, let, let me make a save state. I don't want to use it. I hope I won't have to use it. But I want to make one just in case. Oh, is this? No, this is the different... Is it? Mm. No, I think this might be the... Yeah, okay. Now uh, there's the last ginger is over there. Also some notes around here. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that's alright, because I also did want to... ...in here. Okay, this was just for one of those, but I don't mind. I'll take it. I get it like this? No. Why? missing one Jinjo. Alright. There's still a handful of musical notes on the far side that we need to get. Fuck's sake! Could I actually climb it from that side? Yeah, because I fit the toll, right? Maybe I have a better shot getting him if I come from this side. Okay, we're not quite at boat time yet, we still need to move around this side. Alright. 
here's our last Jinjo. Alright, now we climb onto the boat and examine all the various cabins and shit. Alright, so, first up. Those TNT boxes are annoying. Which is not good news for a segment that's about to happen. Um, oh, that way. That's the exit. Oh, is that the... No, I think that's probably just a feather, but... Oh, nothing to sneeze at. Sure, there's anything of import here except for those four notes. Oh wow, somebody is drawing uh, the original version of Conqueror's Girlfriend. Funny. Sailor Conquer confirmed. Uh, 312 111. Keep that in mind. That's the main one. This is the one with the engine thing, right? Yes. Alright. Back out. Anything on top of the flagpole? No. Alright. We're not gonna go in the big hole yet. We've already done that. So this area of the boat has been cleared. Nothing else here, right? Yeah, no, that was just to jump on the box. Eggs. 
kitchens. Stupid bear, you'll need to learn that red hot hovens tend to burn! Concern for how thorough we've been. It feels like we're a little. Uh, behind on notes. All right, so it's three, one, two, one, one, one. Might be in business. We only need four more. My gut says they're at the top of one of these. Ooh. Make sure not to fall, though. That would help. Yes! Yes! Oh, This was the thing that worried me the most about trying to get everything. Alright. Since we have all notes, we don't have to be afraid of dying anymore because we've gathered everything that matters. Honeycomb is. Who dares enter Boss Boom Box's hold? Nope. up most of my fucking eggs. I 
mean, you know, I can actually probably just attack them normally, too. I guess they're not TNT, are they? Yeah, in my memory, maybe because they look like the TNT boxes. They were TNT boxes. But, yeah. Arr, you splintered me. Take this, I didn't want it really. Hold on, where is... Let me check all of these rooms again. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually somewhere in here. Exactly? But no. Like, my memory is telling me it should be in one of the cabins, or... ...these kind of things. Oh, no, we should check this one. That's the thing, though, is that we, we've checked everything, so I'm kind of a little stumped a little. Not there, I know. Ooh. Sorry, gotta take a quick call. Kirby. And we're back. Alright. I, I looked it up because I was like, I'm I'm missing something. And it's like, oh yeah, I... That's what happens when you go somewhere and don't really explore every part of it. It's actually in the engine room. See that hole? Climb on. Alright. Okay, I do I have to reactivate both of them? Yes. That's the case. We're gonna go. Oh boy, oh boy. 
I, I don't need that token. I'm fine without that token. Let's try to finish Rusty Bucket Bay without actually dying. That would be amazing. Now, the penalty for death at this point is not that big of a deal, but still. No deaths better than one death. Right. Take your time, wait until the next cycle. It's something about those, these things that always has me go like... Am I hitting it at the right time? Let's wait until the next cycle. Good time. Kill. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, alright, alright. We're here, we're here. We, we got this, we got this. I fucked this over, but fine. We don't care. We're chill. Uh, I just have to remember which way the things are. So we have max efficiency. I don't 100% know if I'm supposed to do this again, but just in case. I also guess these, this switch is technically not required. Hmm. Maybe instead of going through those, um, galaxy. I just wanna go around. We almost had the Rusty Bay Miracle. Almost. The camera failed us when we needed it the most. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll try going around instead. Oh, no. This is the shit I was worried about. Alright, let's let's give ourselves some time like to go around so we don't have to go back and activate the first switch. Mm. Definitely want to go this way first, because that way I can just jump over the other gap. Okay. No! Okay. That's why we don't get that Mumbo token. And I guess despite the life counter stopping at 9, they are keeping track of your extra lives.
All right, that's one. This ended up taking more time than planned, but still glad I did it. Makes me confident that we can finish it next stream. Alright. Let's not mess it up this time. If we do, I will actually consider... Uh, making a safe stay there just to save some time. Let's remember these uh, eels are still alive. Okay, good. Back of the boat is this way. Oh boy, I'm wasting time. Wasting time. All right, we got it, ladies and gentlemen. We have it. Rusty Bucket Bay, a hundred percent. Get the fuck out of here. Shitty level. It's not actually level. It's a good level. It's just that engine room. I fucking so much. All right, let's go get the um, piece of puzzle we unlocked by hitting the witch switch. Then we're gonna save a bit. Next time, Click Luck Wood and the end game. Excited. It's gonna be a good time. All right, 800 notes. 800 notes, 89 jiggies, 22 honeycombs, four hours and 43 minutes and 46 seconds so far. Good time. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. You can find me at twitch.tv slash games with Nick and youtube.com slash games with Nick. Um, I usually stream uh, Sunday, Monday, and uh, Wednesday, Thursday. This week we'll have a special schedule where I'll be live tomorrow and uh, Wednesday afternoon, Eastern Time. Then we'll have a big long streaming day on Thursday since I have a day off. And then we'll actually not stream between uh, Friday and the next Monday. So we'll take a bit of a break there because I'm on vacation. Uh, and then we should be back the Wednesday in two weeks. So, if you're interested in any of that, feel free to hit the bell, uh, click the follow button so that you know when I'm going live on Twitch. And if you like YouTube, if you like watching my VODs, feel free to like, subscribe, let me know what content you like, let me know what more you would like to see. Uh, I always enjoy engaging with my audience. So, thank you for watching, and until next time. <laughs>